getting out. Today's sweltering high 90s outside fall short of the temperature in a closet where little Marcus Beisel spent his last hours on Earth. Once a neck to ankles blanket was taped around him to keep the three-year-old foster child inside an upstairs closet. David and Liz Carroll went to a family reunion with their other children and their dog. The fan they left running in the closet, woefully insufficient to keep the boy alive. At the time, the coroner was Odell Owens, and Odell told us that the temperature in that closet reached probably close to 175 degrees. Prosecutor Joe Dieters feels the need to publicly review the elements of what happened 16 years ago, because David Carroll's first parole hearing is six weeks away. He wants people to recall that the Carrolls put the boy's body in a box, which was lit a fire in Brown County, after which the boy's remains were thrown in the Ohio River. Before any of this was known, Marcus was cast as missing. If somebody took him in good spirits, or I, I just, I'm asking for help. Dieters played a montage video of news reports showing how thousands were duped into helping to search Julep's Park in Anderson Township. Uh, so that's what they knowingly did. They willingly, purposely put this child in the spot where he suffered immensely. This is a prison photo of David Carroll, teardrop tattoos below the right eye. These prosecutors tonight are asking you to care enough to contact the parole board. The number one thing they consider is what the public thinks. Joe Dieter is saying it's not uncommon for convicted murderers to be paroled at the first parole hearing opportunity. He emphasizes public input seems to carry the most weight with members of the parole board. Live downtown, John London, WLWT News 5.